There will be one media darling this summer at the London Olympics, and the media's already picked her. The 16-year-old swimming phenom, Missy Franklin. Missy Franklin took the global stage last year, winning five world championship medals. Three gold, one silver, one bronze. Her high school swimming meets, they sell out. And air on ESPN. And good buddy Michael Phelps described her to Sports Illustrated in one word, stud. But Missy Franklin is not the aquatic slayer bent on mining Olympic gold. She's actually a sweet girl, the girl next door that everybody's gonna love. Her high school teammates call her goober face. Her favorite movie, The Sound of Music. Her favorite athlete, Natalie Coughlin. Her most influential person, her mom. Missy wants to be a marine biologist when she grows up, and her dog Ruger, a massive Alaska Malamute, she just looks forward to coming home from swimming practice and cuddling with him. Missy Franklin is sweet, humble, and a swimming purist. She's an amateur who's passed up nearly $160,000 in prize money and untold millions in endorsement revenue. And according to her, that's not gonna change. Right now, it's definitely not on the table just because of how much I want to swim in college. I have always wanted to swim in college. Swimming on my high school team has been incredible. And just that team atmosphere, I love it. And on the Colorado Stars, I'm best friends with every single person on my team. And I know how valuable that is. And I'll have the rest of my life to make money. But college swimming is something I only get to do once. So I'm, even though it's getting harder and harder, um, especially uh, the Wall Street Journal just did an article and they summed up everything. We haven't done that before. So that was kind of hard to see. But I know that it's going to be worth it. And so I'm just focused on college swimming and I can't wait to take my official visits. Her decision to remain amateur has not only been profiled by the Wall Street Journal, but also in the New York Times, USA Today, and Sports Illustrated. There's even a documentary being made about her right now, focusing on this purist mindset, being captured by award-winning filmmakers. But is remaining amateur the right decision? Consider this equation. The average four-year college institution, swimming school, it's about $200,000 all in. If you can make seven or eight times that amount of money, and according to most Olympic agents that I've talked to, that's a conservative estimate, Missy can, you go pro. Seven figures in the bank is a nice security blanket starting out in life. But you have to consider past examples of teen women with superstar potential who have turned pro and how that's turned out. I caught up with four-time Olympic medalist Carolyn Joyce at the Fitter and Faster Tour, who sums up the pros and cons of going after the money. You know, I've, I've been in the sport for a long time, and um, I competed all four years of college before turning pro, and, um, you know, as the years have gone by, you know, I've, I've seen my peers that have, you know, turned pro before completing four years of college swimming, or, you know, turning pro in high school, and right now I swim with Missy Franklin, and it's kind of, you know, in the headlines that she's going to stay amateur instead of going pro. And personally, I just think that there's more longevity in the sport. You know, she has a dynamic career ahead of her. If she's going to go into college swimming, you know, she has the team experience to look forward to. She has NCAAs to look forward to. And, you know, if you go pro at 16, you're looking at the same meets every year. You're, you know, it's a job, too. And, and what 16-year-old wants a job? <laughs> Sounds like Missy's got this figured out. She certainly has the support of her teammates, family, and one other person. She's been called the female Michael Phelps, and Michael takes that as a compliment, even offering guidance. I, I just said I'm here. You know, if she, if she ever needs anything, I'm here for her. Um, you know, I, I was in, you know, my very first Olympics was when I was 15, and, and uh, you know, we're, we're in the same kind of boat. So I was like, if you ever need help with anything or whatever you want, I'm a phone call away. Um, you know, she's a teammate of mine, she's a friend of mine, and, and uh, you know, we, we always want people to do their best, so whatever she needs, I'm here for it. By the numbers, Missy is primed for success this summer in London. Think about this. She's already gone to Olympic trials at 13, a competition that normally crushes athletes on their first effort. As a swimming specimen, she truly is the Michael Phelps of swimming. She stands six feet one inches tall, has a six foot three wingspan. She has size 13 feet. She's been coached by the same guy since she was seven years old, Todd Schmitz. 32 years old, really a big kid, lovable guy with a fantastic coaching philosophy. Work hard, but keep it fun. And lastly, she trains at the Colorado Stars at altitude, a huge advantage for a world-class athlete. You train at altitude. Do you yes. always feel like a superhero when you come down to the flatlands? Yes, absolutely. I love it, especially the first time we get into the pool. It's always just like <gasps> so much air, and I feel like my underwaters are so good because I can just keep going, and I love it. But it's a huge advantage training at altitude. We don't really have to go anywhere. Um, I know a lot of teams came up to the springs to train, so it was kind of nice that we got to sleep in our own beds, but still got to train at altitude. Have you said where you're taking your trips? I haven't decided yet, no. I took an unofficial to Georgia in December, and I'm trying to take an unofficial to Cal soon, but 
I haven't decided yet, but I'm so excited. It falls perfectly, so. You can tell us what you're thinking. <laughs> You know what, my options are totally open right now. I've been, had the chance to work with so many great college coaches, which is amazing, because a lot of swimmers don't get that opportunity. So to have been coached by these coaches before, it gives me a really great outlook on where I want, think I want to go and where I want to take visits to.